Yo, what is up gamers? How you all doing today? Bad day? And you know what? That sucks to hear. Hopefully I can make it better. Oh, it's a good day actually. Well, maybe I can add on to that. Today, I'm taking a look at Delirium I. This is part of Repentance Negative, and this item, for the longest time, I thought didn't do anything, because I swear I definitely played with it and tried to um, figure out what it was going to do, uh, because I've played with this mod pack before, but I never got to the work. But I went to the mod workshop page very recently, and I just clicked on last updated, something I like to do, because I like to see, oh, you know what, this got updated. And I saw that this uh, got updated. I tried out this item again, and now it seems to be working for me specifically. Again, it could have just been my issue overall but as you can tell already what it's doing is it's giving me the opportunity the chance to shoot not only a 2020 a mutant spider an inner eye shot but also a quintuple shot every single time i shoot just in general so i thought that i really wanted to <laughs> play with this item for like uh, almost a month now i feel and now that i got it to work and it's looking kind of snazzy i decided to bust open the loss to make it very challenging hopefully we do not die like that oh my god and hopefully you make it to the very end of the video game with this delirium's eye on top maybe finding some other items part of repentance negative now you may also be noticing that i got anti-birth basement music on right now and that's because i did a poll on twitter pretty recently i think like two three days ago maybe even four now i don't know point is is that i did a poll on twitter and then i i basically asked hey what is everyone's favorite basement theme we got you know diptera sonata the rebirth theme sacrificial the flash theme and of course anti-birth theme which uh i think anti-birth theme is the funniest because there's that one tiktok of that guy like he's singing it and low-key i do that in my head basically every single time oh shit oh. balls love that for us wonderful not very useful but definitely a funny sound effect <laughs> uh now much to my surprise i don't know if it's because there's just that many new players to isaac via repentance and then the anti-birth soundtrack I thought most people were gonna pick the Flash theme, but actually, most people prefer the Anti-Birth theme. So I said, hey, you know what? I mean, if that's what people prefer, I mean, I've been playing with Anti-Birth theme for, what, like almost two years now? I just wanted to put on the Flash theme for a little bit of nostalgia for that little period of time, but I will go with the majority. If people want to hear this theme the most, I will work with it. Now, adding piercing to our Delirium's eye is going to look insane. If I can get some extra tier rate with this item, oh my goodness, we are going to cook. First boss should be no issue. I don't really get to take advantage of any form of piercing here, but that's fine. Something interesting to note is I'm pretty sure the splitting shot also splits your damage to an extent. It's definitely like overall good damage because you're, you're spreading your damage out for AoE, but I feel like these tiers that are splitting aren't doing my full tier damage. In fact, I, I could be imagining it, but I feel like they're a little bit smaller. It's very noticeable when you do the, the 5 split in comparison to my Right there, literally that was a perfect example. Those 5 splitting shots actually were a lot smaller than my one single tier. So it's not an immediate upgrade where you would think it's completely broken, which is why this item is actually quality too, which is also kind of the reason I wanted to check it out. It's a very cool item, good for synergies, but not going to break the game and it's still going to make the loss very challenging for us. Dips are done. HP is useless. We roll it into HP is useless. Uh, we actually have a decent amount of money, so we can go to the shop. Probably should have bought that um, HP up, honestly, or just picked it up because I could get a battery in here. Then I'd feel very stupid. I do feel very stupid, but it's completely overridden by the fact that I have lost birthright, so I'm okay with this. Never mind. Let's go. No bombs for secret room? I don't think so. Let's go. Curse of the unknown. I wonder how much HP I have. <laughs> I bought a new monitor, guys. And usually I'm not like that kind of like techie. Like I'm not into like, oh my god, the new the new iPhone or whatever came out. You know, I don't no judgment, but that's just not me. But I saw I think like a tweet basically highlighting how crazy OLED monitors are in comparison to you know, just a basic monitor that you might have. And I thought, wow, the the color difference, the clarity is crazy. So uh, it, since it's almost my birthday, um, I was like, you know what? I'll just get my, myself a present and this will be uh, my Christmas and birthday present to myself. I'll combine them right now. And uh, I'm currently playing on it. Right now I'm playing Isaac in 4K and 
needless to say, I mean, obviously you guys can't experience this. It's more like of an in-person thing, but I feel like I'm playing Isaac for the first time all over again. This thing is crazy. It's undeniably sick what I am looking at right now. But I also wanted to make sure that you guys uh, are not missing out. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see if I can make it so Premiere when I export these videos, I can export it in 4K. I I'm going to try it for the first time. Nice secret room. Today, hopefully it goes well and doesn't completely break the video and lose the footage because that would be uh, very not good <laughs> maybe it doesn't work or maybe i can't get 4k 60 fps and then we'll have to see maybe you guys prefer 1080 60 fps or you know 4k 30 etc etc basically i just want to make sure you guys are getting the best experience possible for these videos so we shall see blind item i'm banking on right here bombs are actually decent I'll honestly blow these up because it could be a lot of bots with no money in it. Great. <laughs> yeah, bombs are decent. I can get more secret rooms, so it's actually fairly okay for us. I don't think I should go to the secret room, though. Or, sorry, my fault. The shop. Because I have no cash and no dono machine to even blow it up. But yeah, dude, I, I opened up, like, a couple games with this OLED screen and my mind was blown. I made a new Minecraft world. It finally happened. Yeah, yeah, you, you like that. You like that little poop play. <laughs> Strategy incarnate right now. You are not going to hit me, turdlet. Minecraft looked crazy, which is weird to say because I don't think Minecraft should look crazy. I opened Overwatch as well. I, I want to open Fortnite. I feel like that would look good. And when I opened Isaac, like I mentioned, it was absolutely incredible. I think I will not go Devils today. Actually, I'm feeling kind of angelic. What else did I open? I opened Payday 3. Dude, basically all I'm trying to say is that like <laughs> 4K is a, a little bit crazy. I had no idea because I'd never seen 4K in real life before. Never really experienced it. Didn't really get the hype. I just know a lot of people were talking about it. But now I can officially say like low-key, I kind of get it. With the OLED screen as well, it goes kind of nasty. I understand why Nintendo made a new Switch with its main draw being, hey, we have an OLED screen now. Like, I get it. Before, I was like, what the hell? Does OLED really matter that much? Nah, yeah, you know what? They, they, uh, they were rightfully so. Like, the, the OLED screen kind of goes nasty. Do you have anything juicy in the cursor room? I'm not risking this. I will definitely just blow you up. Yes, you can diagonal that fireplace. I will not be losing my piercing. Run power scaling right now is pretty low. The damage up was very nice for us. But I'm banking on this lost birthright to kind of give us the juice over the course of the run. So I'm not sweating too much. I think we'll be good. I guess the feeling was that... Okay, this is like for old heads, I guess. <laughs> Does anyone remember? Like, I don't know when. I cannot pinpoint the exact time. It could have been back when Mark Markiplier is playing goddamn SCP Containment Breach Part 2, biggest jump scare ever known to man type stuff, but I remember as a kid one day I was like just watching YouTube and 720 was the gold standard, 720p, and then and then one day this magical setting showed up and I was like what, what is that? And I saw 1080 and like I, I felt like I was seeing God, dude, <laughs> like for the first time I was like what is happening? 1080 blew me away, I think that's the same feeling I'm I'm getting right now like 4k is like kind of snasty a little bit but you have to experience it for yourself was I, I i cannot have been the only person that had that experience where i was like wait what is this what is this magical 1080p button Ooh. <laughs> our next treasure room has a little haunt and lost birthright is beginning to disappoint me immensely but that's okay because if you want the game to be challenging that's also what we're going for uh let me look for a secret room hopefully there's some cash in there and then i get some kind of shop and gameplay going we're in the hoo-ha is the secret room okay well it couldn't have been above me so it was a bit of a dumb guess but still like you can't deny that this is a bit of a weird looking secret room now this is, this is probably not worth it but now i'm committed there's only a couple more places it possibly could be so i'm just gonna go for it at this point this is the reason we wanted the Bob's Curse, so I get these extra bombs, so I can burn them all very stupidly for a secret room that probably will not matter. Oh my god, all my bombs are gone. And it was right- Oh! It was right here all along. And it's incredibly good. Oh! That means I have to roll. I'm sorry. That means I have to roll. <laughs> I don't- I don't make the rules. I do not make the rules. You saw what happened. There's a secret room item. I open the chest. There's a lazy worm trinket. I don't care if it deletes. That's a blessing right there. My run has just been blessed. We just know it's gonna be banger. I still do find it kind of funny uh, when people tweet at me and they say, hey, I found the lazy worm. Uh, and I picked up that trinket and then like five seconds later I got magic mushroom and they just truly as if I've somehow reached down through their game to to currently bless their run I kind of like that idea it's kind of sick keep bum no thank you surprise it has not deleted just yet 
That's good for us. Maybe the shop can do something though. Hello. Uh, uh pay to play. It's good. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not struggling for keys. But I could in the future. And it's it's just a solid item, so let's take it. We will have a slight anti-synergy due to bump brain pay to play. But that's fine as long as I'm on my mark and making sure that I at least have like 10 cents on me at all times, then you know bump ramp can go buck wild. I wouldn't really mind too much. Oh, that's that's really good. Hold on, let me do this. Okay, cool. Should I take key bomb? <laughs> Dude, I kind of want key bum. Cause then, what if I get? Dude, okay, maybe this is the secret. That 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 was actually the lazy worm secret. What if I get dark bum? I get a natural super bum. That like never happens, man. That could go kind of crazy. I think I'm actually gonna fight the boss because I have a roll. Maybe I get an angel room. If I don't get an angel room, the next next time I get a deal, because I am guaranteed one the next one. I am gonna take a devil so I can lock in devil room. So then maybe I can get dark bum. I also think we should go dark room to uh, increase those chances even more. Clog seems like the perfect fight for uh, this kind of build that we have because I just have such a wide range of piercing tears like uh usually this is the most annoying move he does where he spawns these little poop things and they just roll around and kind of hit you eventually but just by me existing these are not gonna do much so i think this is a bit of a clean fight for us cool stuff get flushed say goodbye and hello to my angel room that i completely guessed while talking to make myself seem cool I will be taking perfection. Goodbye, lazy worm. You are a wonderful trinket. Uh, and this is my punishment for uh, destroying it. But, you know, it is what it is. It had to be done. I do want to roll this, though. This is genuinely a, a really hard fight. <laughs> like, I'll say it. This, I can 100% die here. My damage is not high enough. Ah, uh, to justify fighting an angel right now. Ow, oh my god. But I, I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to give it my all. Maybe I roll right now and I get Sacred Heart so I can... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Kill him! Kill him, please! I was gonna die otherwise. I I, sw I really I was going to die. Oh my god! I I did it! I cannot believe I clutched that out. <laughs> wow! Do I even want the key piece? No, I don't because I again I want devil rooms. That is insane that I pulled that off just now. <laughs> I had to make a split second decision. I genuinely did. I felt like, I mean, I could have definitely done that angel fight, but it would have been way easier in my mind. Ooh, what if I have a sacred heart? That'd be way better. Godhead though, also fills that quota 100%. And with piercing, uh, there you go. We have now broken the game immediately with Delirium's Eye. And, and I have to chalk it all up to Lazy Worm. I'll say it. Roll this, get Bursting Sack, which is actually a really nice item. I like this one. No spiders for the rest of the run as a lost character is wonderful. And Clog will die 10 times faster than he just did. What do we have? Nice. I really need tears up. Just general DPS up is great. And we can go. All right. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we are breaking actually for real. With perfection too? Like, okay. All right. <laughs> Least powerful lost run currently. I'm enjoying my time here. Hello, crane game potentially? No. I mean, I have you. I have you. I gotta find you. Uh, give me a second. I'll get a bomb. Maybe blow up those dudes. Get better deal chance. And hopefully we can uh, cross some kind of devil room in the future. If I blow up that demon beggar, I'm actually gonna get less devil chance. More angel chance. So that's why I killed the two dudes on the left. Not the dude on the right. Because we do want to get that. Oh, nice. Balls and luck up. Fat devil deal, hopefully. Hello. This this is a weird room I've never really seen before. And a tears up is usually a bit scary to take on, on a cave's floor. Not not with this build though. This one, this one's fine. <laughs> Funny enough, I would not mind a shot speed down. Uh, I mean, it's definitely not worth to take the lazy worm over perfection with our current build, especially with the current information of Athem showing up. But my shot speed is really fast. <laughs> so I, I could use a, a little shot speed down. I wouldn't mind one. All right, what do you have for me today? Papula duplex, you know, tier side is actually incredible with godhead as you can clearly see the aura becomes insanely large and steam cell is incredible as well let's see and he rolls deep pockets more money like that for us and maybe hit a fat blow up i'm not gonna do the pause trick anymore and that's not too useful 20 keys with a golden key wow i wonder why i don't need keys anymore <laughs> i guess at this point i should probably just start giving my keys to key bum huh don't need keys i have paid a win like i already have a stockpile as well in case for some reason i do need them yeah you go ahead buddy it's all you from now on from that we actually have a bit of a, a very good synergy pay to win plus key bum is a strong synergy actually unlike what we just mentioned before with the bum friend uh, synergy on the last floor very good who we got mega fatty oh my 
god, melting damage as hell right now. See you later. Goodbye to your health bar. And hello to... That is definitely a repentant negative item. It looks delicious. It's a sandwich. I actually ordered a sandwich. It should be coming here soon. It's a damage and tears up from the boss pool. Oh, you know we like that. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. So I know I just got the sandwich item, my goodness, school bag. But I thought it was appropriate for me to mention that I also just had a sandwich. <laughs> Not even joking about that, by the way. During that cut from the last floor to this floor, uh, I took like a 30 minute break to have a little bit of breakfast slash lunch, some brunch action, had a meatball sub. My god, it was schmacker, dude. Undeniably sick, nasty, and also that tears up one nasty as well. Shop has greed, which is great because that means I can actually get a bit more money. It's essential to me. Sorry, bum friend. I know you're fiending for some cash, but right now, I think I gotta stack up a little bit more. We also got a boss immediately, which is great. I should probably blow up the cheaper first before I do that, though. What do we have here? Oh my goodness. It's perfect. Okay, cool. Got the run of our dreams. Now we can just capitalize uh, and have a wonderful time. This is about to go banger mode, I think. All right, Mr. Keeper. What's, What's it, it to you? You're gonna die. See you later. Give me that deal of chance that I wanted oh so long ago. And we'll see if we can capitalize on it right in here with a gate fight. We should die instantaneously due to our ultimate to milk and insane tier rate. Stapler is great. Maybe a dark bump to fulfill my dreams. No, it's guppy. I think I just roll and get conjoined, which is good. And again, I should take these so I can lock in devils for the future. Should I go Maz though? Sure. I think I will. Maybe a little mausoleum machine in the walls action. Hello, how you doing? And our run is so powerful, I don't think we're gonna struggle too much. It is a bit scary, of course, because I am the lost. And there's a bunch of different brimstone enemies on these types of floors, so there's definitely a potential for me to die. I did just give up a guppy's uh, collar, so... No real- oh my goodness, mega groovy pill. There is a high potential of some form of death here, but as long as I lock in, I think we'll be fine. Modeling clays is cool, but not necessary. Evil eye is broken. We are about to uh, create so many tears. <laughs> there's there's nothing gonna stop us anymore. Any form of suspense I was trying to build up for that entire uh, like speech of the first floor I came in, nah, it's gone. Evil eye perfection, almond milk, and delirium's eye. Does delirium even have eyes? What kind of question? What am I talking about? Of course he has eyes. It's just like, I don't, how does it translate to some weird looking polyphemus type thing? Not in my eyes anyway. Uh, roll this, get mom's purse, which is cool. I can actually go back for that modeling clay trinket now. For some reason, uh, a meme that has low-key started in my comments section is because ever since I mentioned that I turned up the music a little bit, and then I turned up the music a little bit more, and then I turned it up just a slight bit more, and now it's at a good spot. People just keep saying to turn up the music even further. <laughs> I, I don't know when I'm gonna have time for this, but I will probably do like some kind of meme video on the Lazier Matman channel and the, the title will be like Isaac, but the music is too loud that you can't like barely hear me and it's just gonna be me and you can you can barely hear my voice But the in, like the music is blasting and it's just gonna be play, me playing a run like that I think that would be a kind of a fun thing to do. We're shooting all teeth by the way with Godhead and this amount of uh tears So yeah, we're, we're mad chilling now Gehenna this place is actually scary. Range up is not too useful to me, but it is a bit of mom transformation. And also I'm not too afraid of these enemies because of my damage. That does not mean Gehenna is not a threat though, because in here more than anywhere, there are brimstone enemies that are completely invulnerable. And that is actually scary. Luckily though, I do have balls. Tears down kind of sucks, but it didn't really affect me. Yeah, there's brimstone enemies everywhere here. Homing brimstone, invulnerable brimstone, stone the works you name it it's all here so let's just keep our cool make sure we don't mess up and try and insta kill everything as fast as we can like we have been and avoid any across the room brimstones that we purely just could not see like these guys oh my god do i hate those guys so much <laughs> uh what do we have in here bff's great options is great all of this stuff is incredibly good our shops have been solid so far, and we have a hard mom fight coming up, who also shoots brimstone, because of course she shoots brimstone. What on Gehenna does not shoot brimstone? But that fight should be easy enough, because I think I'll just be able to defeat her before she can even do anything. Uh, I found the boss. I still need my treasure room, though. Let me go back, if then we'll fight you. Also need my secret room as well for increased deal chance. Oh, there you go. My bad. Hello! You are not a keeper! What the hell? Okay. I... 
No way. Dude, 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 that was almost legendary. <laughs> well, uh, since the secret room didn't actually have a keeper, I'm gonna blow you up instead. Sorry, buddy, for the false sense of security. It's just business. It ain't always about the money, Spider-Man, but sometimes it's all about the money. <laughs> All right, there you are. Now, despite us going fairly decently fast with a broken build, we will not be hitting Hush today, and that's fine, I would say. In here, Anima Sola or Blind Item Skeleton Key. Now, I absolutely do not need keys for the rest of the run. If it was ever a question before, now it absolutely is not. Key bum, get to work. It's your time to shine, buddy. Okay, please, a deal with Dark Bum. Also take you. Come on, baby. No, it could have been glorious. Roll. Hey, I mean, that's actually pretty good. Guppy's eye. You would think I would take it, but almost conjoined, man. I don't know. I think I'll take Guppy's eye. I can always get a baby, but a Guppy's eye is more exclusive, you know? That was actually a hard decision. 2-3 conjoined or a Guppy's eye with zero Guppy item progress. A genuine conundrum. Do you guys feel like you would do the same or am I just kind of crazy here? I feel like that was an okay decision. Either or, you would get value, you know? I guess that's just kind of what you're looking for in the run it specifically. I am looking for this shot speed down. You just spawned yourself, but like your dad, but also bigger? I don't even know how that works. Uh, yeah, shot speed down seems incredibly good for us. See you later to Mama Gerd. Bumbo also needs to upgrade himself at this point, so we'll keep that in mind. And uh, this bum friend is putting in a lot of work. He spawned two items naturally already. Dude's kind of going at it a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I mean, this is like the biggest lost run. <laughs> Every item you want as the lost I currently have right now. It's actually a little bit crazy. Slightly, undeniably, a little bit absurd, I would say. Dude, that guy just got so fat off that dime. What's in here? No black market. Backstabber, another item I would say you just always want. My goodness. We got one of them there gamer runs, I would say. Goodbye to it lives. And final deal, no. I guess I got a bank on Dark Bump showing up on the dark room all right any guesses for how long this is gonna take because spoiler alert it will not be a long time whatsoever i'm gonna place this bomb down perfectly say goodbye to the fallen and then hold my right direction fairly often to the point that you just kind of explode goodbye satan stomp down your leg if you want to die if you're happy and you know it clap your hands let's go dark room gamers what do you have for me hmm i see <laughs> leslie blood is fine i can get bookworm i Yes, I don't know. I think I should just roll and get D7. Now that is gargantuan. This one's really, really good. This is a game changer on dark room and chest, especially with items. You know what? You know what? You you you, you versus the, the person she tells you not to worry about right now. Keep bum your him. Bum friend. I'm, I got my eye on you, buddy. Uh, scoopers, whatever. I have no idea what Coca-Cola does, but I know it's delicious. I actually have some in front of me right now. Not sponsored, by the way. Uh, roll this. Get nothing. That's fine. Start just redoing this room over and over again. Maybe I get more chests that I can roll consistently. Nice. I will just take Pyromaniac. Thanks for the Q4, buddy. And this is Mom Transformation. Oh, Linger Bean! Okay, usually I would literally never in my life ever make note of this or be excited for it whatsoever, but I think you guys are going to be very excited because very soon, probably maybe even tomorrow or the day after, I'm going to be playing with the buff to Linger Bean item. What the hell was that? I We will never know. Uh, I'm going to be playing with the buff to Linger Bean item that uh, Headcrab and I have been brainstorming and he's been working on. I d oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Polly, it only makes sense to get when you have something like Delirium's Eye as well. That just felt appropriate. Thanks for that. My god, my damage skyrocketed. Yeah, that Linger Bean buff thing that we're going to be doing should be coming out soon. So so I hope you guys enjoy that. I will absolutely love filming that personally. And, you know, I don't know if we're ever going to be that close to... Oh my god! To what Eddie Boy has envisioned for what the, the Linger Bean buff may be. But I think what we came up with was really cool. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. Should be last room does seem to be the case we get uh that was pauses not any of the items that were there but okay i could roll this little chest that showed up and then also redo this room get another roll maybe even an extra item 
Uh, that's actually pretty good. Because Key Bum is kind of my goat right now, and he gave me an extra charge. <laughs> Epic Venus? No thanks, man. I appreciate it, though. Roll one final time, get Lost Soul. Seems appropriate when you're playing the Lost. Apparently, I left one chest up there? I do not recall that at all. What are you? Oh, it's the straw with a bunch of troll bombs. Uh, I'll just leave that alone. Finally, check our super secret room, get a... Does this kill me on... I, I, is it? Wait, what? Is this just not infinite? <laughs> is it like a one-time thing for the lost or what? Right, let me see if I can find the golden battery. I guess I don't really know how this works as the lost. I'm pretty sure I knew, I just I've forgotten or something. Um, okay. It's just infinite then. <laughs> okay, is that not just like a straight up break? What the hell? You just play the lost, find a golden battery, and then maybe instead of eternal d6, you have a d6, you just break the game. Okay, for sure. I'll keep that in mind for sure then. <laughs> We also get a triple shot at the very end here because why the hell did we not get triple shot? It only makes sense. I'm pretty sure I just went through every single room and I could not find it. So maybe it's like a random chance for it to delete. Yeah, whatever, you know, it runs basically done. We have a land fight. Nope, never mind. It's infinite. Good to know. <laughs> I guess I forgot that it could be in here as well. I got one extra thing I can do. Repeat this room once more. Destroy. Get a chest. Sure. Roll. Sure. Soy milk. Why not? Perfect run. Undeniably rigged. Ever since that angel room on Dross, I think we're mad chilling. I hope you enjoyed because this was a banger today. And you guys let me know any extra suggestions of things you want me to play and or do. I hope you enjoyed and GG!